So first we have to tell Johnny Boy how so, so sorry we are for making fun of him when he can't count. I'm not sorry. <laughs> you're not sorry? No. What do you mean you're not sorry? I, I didn't make fun of him. I just pointed out some facts. Okay. Well, I'm sorry for making fun of... No, I guess I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to help you, Johnny boy. We're going to help you. No. <laughs> Come on. Un, deux, trois. Un, deux, trois. Quatre, cinq, six. Quatre, cinq, six. Sept, huit, neuf. Sept, huit, neuf. Dix. <laughs> I don't want to learn how to count that way. What do you mean you don't want to learn how to count that way? It sounds stupid. It's French. Are you, are you saying the French language sounds stupid? <laughs> and we're doing this why? Because we love Johnny. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'd also like to send a video of you counting. Why? Just to show that you can. There, I counted. Name them. Left hand, right hand. <laughs> One. No, that means okay. <laughs> if you didn't recognize this skit, it's the closing scene from our counting collaboration featuring Miss Mima, Mr. Dave, and Miss Lori from Lori's World. We'd like to thank everyone that participated in that video, especially on such short notice. And we are planning another collaboration, but this time on your channel. Please send us an email if you're interested. You can find our email on our about page, but it's our channel name at Mail with a G. But this video is about some of my root, some of my root crops, namely beets, onions, garlic. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for being here. The vineyard chicks include me, DIY Trey, Bunky, our little gardener, and Professor KK. And now back to the video. Okay. So I'm in my bee bed, and as you can see, I, as I move the dirt around, this, it, it's like a big beet, and I want my beets about this big, and it's, you move the, the dirt around, and see how big it is, and if it's big, then, you know, it's ready to pick. That's a good size. And we also use these leaves for green, for some soup, greens and beans. It's an Italian soup. the beets and now we have to fill in the trenches. You can see our fall beets coming up already on the other side of this bed. Here is where we're going to put the onions. I'm going to be taking out my onions from this bed. Now I crowd seeded the red wing onion. These both containers are fine. And now I'm going to take them out and plant them in the right spacing. We want big onions. Guys, look at this, these woods. They're doing amazing. I'm a little bit sad that I had to disturb them, but they're doing great. Okay, so Trey and I have put them back in the dirt, in the soil, and I'm going to keep watering this. And when they're looking, looking like this again, I'm going to put some fertilizer in between it. 
and I bu- I, I got this from Hot Tools, and I got it from Willy Glow's onion video. So he left links at the description. So go there at his onion video and get this for your onions. We added fertilizer by digging a trench in every other row and covering up and packing it down. I learned this technique from Willy Glow's onion videos. It's blue bang. It's doing really good in the hay bale. Okay, so this is a garlic, and I think it's going to be hot. Getting re- it's getting ready to be harvested soon, and I'll make a video of what we do with it when it's ha- when we harvest it. We moved all these onions to have more room, and look how well they're doing. Now I'm trying to keep them shallow and fertilized. And looky here. And now for the wall of garlic. Garlic is traditionally dried outside in a shady spot, like this tree, before being brought in. And it can never be rained on while it's drying. There's our wall of of garlic. This is the best wall ever. At least we know no vampires are going to be coming near this tree. So see you next time.